Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another U4 Let's Play episode of Sweden, now Scandinavia, let's just, let us, wow, let's just, <laughs> let's continue expanding, let's, this time, which way should we go, how about we go into Chagatai, we'll be breaking a truce, what, they're subject to Austria, oh no, to Ottomans, I was like, what, pretty insane, if that was the case, oh, okay, well, Actually, we have how many stacks here? Okay, we have that one. I shall only select second one and this one. We shall go here and here, I guess. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then we'll declare war and take what is rightfully ours because we can. Of course, in terms of religion, we have to change a lot of people to Protestant. But the fact that we have so many provinces is that our religious unity is still pretty high, even though we have like five provinces that are the wrong religion. Right, so let's go ahead. But yeah, basically the strongest in the world, we are the strongest, and Portugal has the second biggest army. That's pretty insane, but wow, Castile is getting owned by France. Does France have some claims on them? No, I wonder what's gonna be the peace deal. As for the rest of the world, Persia is strong and Sam, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> Send these guys to Kharkov then, and we're still defenders of the faith. So that's this means how much is our morale actually? 8.97. What is this madness? This truly madness. <laughs> I'm not joking. It is madness. Truly, truly, truly madness. And yes, that is done. So we shall take extra provinces from Uzbek. Just about to finish with this progress and then we're gonna kill him, basically. No leader here though. So, Pontus, get Pontus here, just use the special Scandinavian teleport, general teleport tactics. Also reducing war exhaustion, no military tech cost, okay. Conquest on Austria, that would be good. Increased narrow-mindedness, that's decent. We suffer from Alsace. No, 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 no. Alsace. And what do you have to do? You have to be annexed by us. And as we have a claim on you, we have to make you into a core. That's basically what happens here. On unlawful territory. Thank you, but no. Thank you, but no at all. No, France, France, France. Let's see, now we are even <laughs> even more impressive than before. Fabricate another claim, how about we go for Irtesh? Which one? Or Kerry, yeah, let's go for Kerry then. I'm just gonna declare war in the meantime, I'm gonna wait until the 30th of January then. Come on, come on, come on, it's gonna be a while. There we go. So now what we wanna go is take Karagolpak or whatever. Send our stack here now. We want to go here to Irtesh. Siege that as well. And we should be golden. We should totally be golden. And of course, our overextension is quite high, but we're gonna be okay, I suppose, or at least I hope so. Of course, those sieges here, you can see that this is pretty insane. Mm, our income is also very, very high overall. We have all this uh, diplomatic power that we might want to spend soon because it's getting extremely high. And we have finished our siege here, which is precisely what we want. And of course, some nationalists in Elsass want freedom and one inflation. Who cares about that? Another inflation. I don't care about that. I have too much money to care about such pitiful things right now. Of course, an Urgenac, so let's go for this then. Kharkov, Zealots in Kharkov. Hello. You shall go down, my friends. You shall go down. Race tax is even higher. Why not? Let's just have an insane income. Oh, the siege is already done. Oh, poor them. Oh, such fast sieges. What if we attack this? I wonder what would happen. Clearly, we can siege it and be fine. That's clearly what will happen. Who's <laughs> back? They will already give up to us, but... Sorry, but that is not an option. 
Oh wow, we lost all the infantry. Okay, just assaulting that uh, that one. All right, all right. Now I have it, so go to Signac, and it is time to 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 do this. Overextension is also dropping right now. It's below 100 percent. So oh, we want to go up here to Irtesh, not the other one. What are we doing? This is insane. Okay, there we go. Their stack is gone. I have like 2k units, so good luck with that. Trying to do anything useful, that is. Oh, Pontus is dead. No. Okay, well, we have to spam a lot of crazy buildings then. Uh, canal, canal. Canal, canal. Do we have more road networks to spam? Yes, we do. Any more road networks then? Oh. Nope, not quite. So, canals. Uh, any more stuff? Okay, barracks, 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 barracks. After the barracks, what is there? Oh, regimental camp. And that's basically it. Oh, some temples, but that's not what we want. Gotta get the trade depots going then. Spend all our money and all our diplo power on something useful, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Look at all that money flowing into buildings <laughs> so many buildings shall be built so to speak hire him nah we do not care about him even though we have that insane amount of uh, yeah get admin power okay get this advisor no, no discipline is good how much discipline do we have right now I just I have to wonder actually let's see 155 percent yeah that's it's pretty decent. It's pretty good. Definitely pretty good. Lithuania, let's fabricate a claim and go for Poltava now. Have that one again. It is good. It's just good. We have four out of four military leaders. No, we have three out of four. This is why we should have a fourth one. And this guy has no leader. Oh, he's five and six. That's basically so, so good. But this is Uzbek here that we're talking about. Let's see. 1,000, this siege should go really, really fast. I've converted those guys, convert the next ones, and go for all our claims. All these claims in the south, and then there's more territory to basically siege. 2,000 here, so this is not gonna be as easy. Is it possible? I think it is. We solved it, yeah. That went well, overall. So this siege here, let us see. Well, we can waste some of our men because we're just regaining them so fast. More than enough uh, manpower roll. This is just the 1,000 one, so it's all good if we do things like this. So now, now, now we're gonna get this one. Yep. So we can. We can't actually take that. I think it's because it's like super important to them or something. Oh. Soon enough, we can take more though. Oh, this is impossible. About something like this. Oh no, this is just too much, it seems. So how about, hmm. Yeah, we can go for all this, it seems. Yeah, it works. I'm happy with what I received. We went so far east. This is just crazy. It's gonna be a lot more coarse. We're 150% overextension almost. This, we are just insane. <laughs> and fabricate more claims. Let's see, where can we fabricate more claims? Let's go for Narva then. Narva, Narva. Hmm, this, this is going well for us. I think everybody's actually just scared and they don't want to touch us because they're like, oh no, it's Scandinavia. It's Scandinavia. Okay, Russian Patriots in Narim. Like, we didn't expect that. There, there. I should decline. In trade, because why not? Okay, in Varnes. Well, luckily we have a stack there. <laughs> so, good luck. And now in Kuban, that has been finished. Okay. Wait. Where, where are they? Oh, they must be dead, I think, already. <laughs> Those uh, guys that revolted in Kuban and wow, this manpower increase. This is amazing. This is purely amazing. Of course, we do want this though. Oh, it's gonna be important. 28, 28, yeah, we need to get to 28. I think we just finished Aristocratic though, or did we? 
No, no, not quite. I guess we'll finish this then, and then we'll be done with it. Minsk, yep. Take Minsk then. Harvest, gain some admin power, because admin power is actually very useful. And we want Wenden. To, we want that claim to be there. Is there are any more claims to be had? Nope, not quite. Not quite. Wow, so many trade disputes. What is this madness? Now in Uzbek, let's start fabricating more claims again. Let's go for Kipsh. Shuck something. No, we cannot go for that. Our subject, Hesse. It's gonna start liking us soon, so we might wanna. This is bliss. Fine, because we have so much prestige that it doesn't really matter. It's barely going down anyway. We do not care. Lars Anderson, we're gonna put him where he belongs, which is here. That is where he belongs. Getting so much money as well, and we could pretty much almost make another stack. Which I guess I, it would be interesting to make it, but... I should have gone for all the prestige, I guess, but... Oh well, because I mean I have more than enough money right now. Oh no, Vilna, no. Do we care about it though? Nope. Should just go to war. And Elsass is almost done. The, that claim is almost done. And it's below 100% overextension now, so... Now it's gonna get even lower. It's gonna finish by October. And the on unlawful territory. Do you think I care? Do you think this even flinches me? Just funny. Okay. Now send this guy here in Elsass now. And what should we go for? Well... We could go kill more of uh, Lithuania, basically, so let's go for a little O, Zaporizhia. The next month we shall declare war on them and destroy them. So that is what we do, right? And now we can fabricate another claim on Uzbek for Turkestan. This, basically, we're just expanding using these uh, tactics and so many claims going on. Except in Hesse, obviously, we're just improving our relation there. Relation isn't high enough though, so that's unfortunate. It's truly, truly, truly unfortunate. But we need to send our troops back home from the east to the west. This guy, we I suppose we can keep this guy here as a reserve or something. Just in case uh, Lithuania is beating us back for some reason, but it is super, super unlikely, so declare war. Now we want to just go for Kiev. Yeah, let's go take Kiev. So that is what we want to do. So that is what we shall do. Okay, this guy, send him here. Wrong vault. Go, go, go. I don't know, with 50 tradition. I don't want him. Let's just fire him because, yeah. You saw the reason why. Oh, actually, our ships are not so strong. This battle here isn't the best either. Whoa. Oh, Netherlands, are you insane? Netherlands is insane. <laughs> whoa, whoa, this army here is actually pretty damn strong. <laughs> have to go back to Schleswig, because... Wow, they have a lot of troops here. This is insane indeed. <laughs> what? We're at war with Uzbek again. Are you guys even kidding? And you gotta be kidding. Oh wow, this big war here. Expected to be like this, but okay. Here we go, so combination act, yes. Licensing of the press. Do we want such a thing? Mm, nope. We do not want such a thing, so let's do that. And try and fight our wars then. But fight them well. Oh no, crap. So that's good. So let them attack us over a river. Please. Over a river they will get vanquished. Just like that. So easily. And this 26k stack is going to be just disappearing. Look, they lost a lot of units again. As they would. Now this stack here. That's the next victim. That just disappeared. Oh, they're gonna attack over a river again. Oh, good luck. That thing. 
here though, we should pull back to Schleswig, I would say so, myself at least. So we gotta regain our manpower and everything. Problem is, oh, we gotta go up there, yeah, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, spec patriots, we gotta kill them then. As you see here, this is a bit of a problem. <laughs> bit of a problem but anyway hope you guys guys enjoyed and if you want to see more don't forget to comment or really subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video and i shall see you next time